Hey kids, Miss Kulkani here. In this video, let's continue learning more interesting things about liquids and solutions. So what do we have first? It is a rate of solubility. What does solubility means? It is simply the maximum amount of solute that will dissolve in only specific amount of solvent, not any solvent. And also there is condition. It must be at a specific temperature and pressure. So what this tells you is the values of solubility will be different if we change the temperature or pressure. So let's find out which are the factors that will decide the rate of dissolving a solid into liquid. Let's find out that. The first one is agitation which means stirring vigorously. So if you are stirring vigorously, let's say for example we are trying to dissolve sugar in water. If you stir with the spoon vigorously, what will happen to solubility? It will dissolve faster. That means it will go up, it will increase. Next is surface area. Higher the surface area, what will happen to solubility? It will also increase. And the example is if you take sugar, granular sugar versus the sugar cubes. Granular sugar has more surface area, so that will dissolve faster. Next comes temperature. What happens to temperature? Temperature increases, the molecules will start running around because they will have higher kinetic energy. And if they have higher kinetic energy, it will help increasing the solubility. So we found there are three important factors which will affect the rate of solubility. Okay, moving on. There is also how much will be dissolving. So there are factors that affect the amount of solubility. Not just the rate, it's the amount. And we are again considering solid into liquids mainly. Let's find out the very first thing. The first one is amount of solvent. Let's say maybe we have one spoon of sugar and we are trying to dissolve that in two different flasks. One is 50 milliliters, other is 500 milliliters of water. What will happen? Which one will dissolve faster? Of course, the one which is the bigger one. So, amount of solvent, if I put A, goes up higher the amount, then we have the amount of solute also goes up. We can dissolve more and more sugar. So, maybe 50 milliliters can only take one spoon, but if we have 500 milliliters, it may, to, may take 10 spoons. Let's talk about temperature. And now, there are two different situations for temperature. One is for solid, other is for gas. And they both are different. If we try to dissolve solid in water, we can keep on adding more solid and it will dissolve if we increase the temperature. So, if T increases, we are going to have amount of solute also goes on increasing. Maybe we can put two spoons at say 25 degrees. If you increase it to 50 degree, it might take one more spoon or more than that and so on. But what happens with gas? If gas are soluble in water, it's opposite. If temperature goes up, the amount of solute will be going down. And I'm going to give you a simple example, soda or any carbonated drinks, they are always kept cold. If they are warmer, if this temperature is higher, then what will happen? The amount of gas that is dissolving water will be decreasing, which means actually the gas which was soluble first place will be floating on the top of water layer. So that is not something which you want to do. So always gas will dissolve in water to more quantity if temperature is lower. Higher the temperature, amount of solid will be always decreasing its opposite to 
solids. Hey, since we are talking about the amount of solute dissolved in solvent, there is also something which is called saturation. And these are three different terms. Saturated, unsaturated and supersaturated. I define saturated as just enough. Okay. And I'll explain to you in a minute. Unsaturated is not enough. And supersaturated is more than enough. Now what am I talking about? Think about if you go for all you can eat buffet. Ooh, that makes you feel hungry, right? And we already are paying for all you can eat buffet the flat price. If you go there and eat, you start eating and stop when you are full. You are just eating enough food. That will be called saturation. If you go for buffet but you don't like the food or maybe you are on diet, whatever reason is. But you are hungry and you stop eating. You are not eating more food. It is not enough for you. But you stop eating. That will be like unsaturated. And super saturated is more than enough. So you are already full. But you see a nice dessert there. Or there is one dish you love. And you take that again. So even though you are full. You don't need much food. But you go for extra food. That will be super saturated. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you again in next video. Until then, bye bye.